The National Institute for Communicable Diseases, the NICD, is the National Public Health Institute for South Africa. It provides reference microbiology, virology, epidemiology, surveillance and public health research to support the government's response to communicable diseases threats. We are going to take a look at what communicable diseases are, what causes them and how they are transmitted. Communicable diseases, or most commonly known as infectious diseases, are diseases that can be spread from one person to another and can cause a large number of people to get sick. They are caused by germs like bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites or toxins. But how are communicable diseases spread? There are two ways communicable diseases can be spread through direct contact or indirect contact. Direct contact transmission occurs when there is physical contact between an infected person and a susceptible person. Indirect contact transmission occurs when there is no direct human-to-human -human contact. Infectious diseases are often spread through direct contact. The types of direct contact include the following. Person-to-person -person contact. Infectious diseases are commonly transmitted through person-to-person -person contact. Transmission occurs when an infected person touches or exchanges body fluids with someone else. This can happen before an infected person is aware of the illness. Sexually transmitted diseases and HIV can be transmitted this way. Mother to unborn child. A pregnant woman may pass germs that cause infectious diseases to her unborn baby. Some germs can pass through the placenta. Germs in the vagina can be transmitted to the baby during birth. Droplet spread. The spray of droplets during coughing and sneezing can spread an infectious disease. You can even infect another person through droplets created when you speak. Since droplets fall to the ground within a few feet, this type of transmission requires close proximity. Infectious diseases can also be spread indirectly through the air and other mechanisms. For example, airborne transmission. Some infectious agents can travel long distances and remain suspended in the air for an extended period of time. You can catch some diseases simply by breathing. These are called airborne diseases. You can catch a disease like measles by entering a room after someone with measles has departed. Other diseases that spread through the air are common cold, TB, chicken pox, and mumps. Contaminated objects. Some organisms can live on objects for a short time. If you touch an object such as a doorknob soon after an infected person, you might be exposed to infection. Transmission occurs when you touch your mouth, nose, or eyes before thoroughly washing your hands. Germs can also be spread through contaminated blood products and medical supplies. Food and drinking water. Infectious diseases can be transmitted via contaminated food and water. E. coli is often transmitted through improperly handled produce or uncooked meat. Animal to person contact. Some infectious diseases can be transmitted from an animal to a person. This can happen when an infected animal bites or scratches you or when you handle cat waste. Some zoonotic infectious agents are transmitted by insects, especially those that suck blood. These include mosquitoes, fleas and ticks. The insects become infected when they feed on infected hosts such as birds, animals and humans. The disease is then transmitted when the insect bites a new host. Malaria, West Nile virus and tick bite fever are all spread this way.
This was an overview of communicable diseases, what they are, what causes them and how they are spread. To learn more on communicable diseases, visit www.nicd.ac.za and click on the Diseases A to Z Index.